So, now that you've installed Node.js and we've just seen it running, let's figure out how to actually make our web server, which is supposed to run on the Node.js. So I'm just going to go into the Node.js.org here again, and I'm going into stable, the stable version. Oh, I didn't want to download it. I want to go into docs here, the documentation about that one, and then the 530 API. Now there's a lot of information to see how you can actually use Node.js. The one we want to aim for is the synopsis. Because in here it actually shows you how to write code to generate an actual web server inside Node.js. And that's all it takes. The code right here is enough for us to actually create a web server on our local machine. That's all it takes. So let's look into the file we had before. And I pretty much copied it all in here. Just copy pasted it. Let me just try it again just to show you. I'm just taking the entire code from the synopsis and just pasting it all in here. Okay, now I'm making one change right away because I don't want my server to be on port 8124 because I just can't remember it. I want it to be on the nine, port 9000. You can use any number here, any port you want to use. But I want to use 9000 because that's what I'm used to using when I'm working locally on my machine. So let's save this and try and run it. Let's go into, um, there you see I'm already, I'm already running one here. So let's shut it down. And all I have to do is write node, and then like we did before, I have to write this, the name of the JS file I wanna execute inside my tool here. So what's the name of the file? Well, let's go in and look. It's called server.js, cause it's a JavaScript file. Well, that was the file I was just editing right here inside my mighty, mighty tool called Notepad. We'll change that in a second. And uh, then I only have to write node, and then the name of the file and I could write .js in the end if I wanted to and here it says server is now running on um, HTTP 127.0.0.1 at port 9000. That's actually a local host at port 9000. So let's try and go in there. Localhost 9000 and it prints out hello world. So I have some kind of communication going on here with my actual server. So let's have a look at what it actually says here server running on HTTP, uh, yeah, we already figured that out. But what does that mean? Well, since we wrote server.js, it's actually executing this code right now. So let's see what's actually in there. Well, here it is, the code. It says you, you need to make a variable called HTTP, and that variable requires another library, another JavaScript library called HTTP. Now that library is something that Node already has inside it, so we don't have to do anything else. We don't have to use any package import or anything like that. This is just saying, use this JavaScript library inside Node. And then we say, create a server, and then using something called a callback inside JavaScript, it's this guy right here, we're actually saying, now listen um, on port 9000. So now it will start listening and as soon as the server is created, we'll get a response request back here. So we'll figure out what the request and the response is for the next video. But I just want you to understand that whenever I do a refresh now, I'll actually hit these lines of code right in here. So let's just write hello world 2 and save it. And let's just go back here because if I do a refresh now, nothing will happen, nothing changes. I have to restart my server. And I do that by pressing Control C and then writing note server.js again to restart the server. And if I do it again now, it says hello world 2. Okay, so actually here I can go in and change the content that my response is getting, my browser is getting as a response from the server. Now we'll talk about request and response very soon. I wanna add a few more things here because what I'm actually saying here is write back to whoever wants this, a response where we write 200 for okay, everything is good. What we return is the content type of text playing, which means it's just text. And then write this inside that one just to tell the browser what to actually show in there. That's all. So you've just created your first web server using Node.js. Next time we'll look into how to actually start using this in different ways.